Yo, I've been getting a lot of questions about my UI and what add-ons I'm using. So um, this is a quick tour about like my how to set up my UI. I don't know how to like copy paste it, but I'm just going to go through the add-ons that I have and how to set it up the way that I have it. Before we get into the guide, this is a list of all my add-ons that you need to set up my UI. So if you're interested in my UI, go and download all these add-ons right there. If you want my UI, you should really go to curseforge.com and download this app right here, curseforge.com. It's basically an app for the, the add-on, so you don't have to like continuously download new updates all the time. And this one, you can just press it automatically. So this is the app. This is World of Warcraft, my add-ons. Updating right now, I probably have some add-ons that I need to update myself. Show you guys how easy it is. Uh, no, I actually have everything up to date. But basically, when uh, there is uh, something update in any add-ons, you click update, update all. Boom, done. Everything is done. You also download the add-ons in, in this app. So you just click get more add-ons. So all the add-ons that I'm going through, you can download right here in this app right here. Super simple. Get more add-ons and you can see most popular everything. Find all the add-ons that I'm using also in here. Really nice. Get this, uh, get this app, get this app. You can start with Ability Team Tracker. It's an add-on to track your abilities, uh, your party members' cooldowns in Arena. This is the add-on and uh, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of how it looks like now. And yeah, you, you just click what classes you wanna, what, what cooldowns you wanna track on the different classes. So you click on warrior and and uh, yeah you can you can choose what you want to track basically from your from your party members that you're playing with. Pretty pretty simple add-on. You can also add abilities here by going to uh, going over to Wowhead and uh, putting in uh, finding the ID. So basically how you find the ID is you go to go to Wowhead and uh, you put in for example pummel pummel for warriors. And you click Pummel right there, and then you will find the ID up here. So the ID for Pummel is 6552. Copy it, put it in the ability ID, you put the cooldown on it, which is 15 seconds, and you press Add. Obviously, I already have it, but yeah, so you guys can add whatever you want, basically, if you can find it there on the list. It should be like a list that is already like pre-made for all the classes. So that's ability team tracker. The next, uh, the next one is debuffs. That is basically the debuffs on the frame, as you can see here. And uh, how it works is, is that you uh, you can choose the size of it. There is there is a lot of options. It's a super good add-on. Everybody needs this add-on. A lot easier to see. You can make like the sizes of the debuffs uh, bigger, and you can like make you wanna if you wanna see some uh, some uh, debuff bigger than others, you can choose and you can go to that certain debuff that you wanna see, and you can make it bigger. You can make it prioritized also, so it gets like in front of the others. Really, really good uh, add-on to have. The next add-on is bartender four, which is basically my setup down here, my buttons. I'm gonna open it up right here. And you can see I actually have more bars than you can see, but I'm just hiding them so it looks more clean. Yeah, and this is all the bars, and you just, oh, you just enable on the bars that you want to have. And my settings is let's go to bar one for example and look at the settings so you guys can set it up at, at the same if you guys want it. So it's basically alpha 100% scale is one, padding zero, buttons 12. That's it. And also hide macro text, hide hood key. And uh, the first thing you want to do when you download and install this add-on is go to Blizzard Art Bar and disable status tracking bar, disable, you know what I mean? You disable a lot of stuff. Also, for example, my micro menu, I don't really want to see my bag bar down here. I am on micro menu, but I still want to be able to click it because I removed, I'm using a lot of the binds uh on my spells so i don't have hotkeys for it so i actually mouse i'm like dragging my mouse down here as you can see and clicking 
know what I mean? If I want to see some transmog and I actually have binds for talents, but some of these I don't have binded, so. But I still want to keep it hide. Same with the bags. Uh, so how you do that is basically you go to micro menu and you go over to visibility and you do fade out. So you can see here now it's you scale it down here now and you just all the way to zero. You have to click fade out also. So you click, you enable fade out and you drag it all the way down to zero. That way you can just drag your mouse over it and it will appear. Yeah, and uh, a lot of people are asking about the skin also, which is from another add-on that we're going to talk about later. It's called Mask, and the skin name is called Darian. So, let me see here. So, the next add-on is Bindpad. This is basically an add-on for keybinds. So, you can bind all your spells in here with all the macros. You can make as many as you want. And you can bind all your abilities here. You can see here, you can make a lot of different ones. So my are specific, stuff like that. And you bind all your spells and then you can just drag them out whatever you want. And they're still gonna be binded to the keybind that you put in Mindpad. I don't uh, use it on my Hunter. I have it on my, uh, I haven't set it up on my Hunter yet. So I'm still using Bartender to put my keybinds. I think Bartender is also nice, but uh, but the, the problem that I find with Bartender is when you swap some specs, all of a sudden you have like, you know what I mean? Like the binds get saved to different places. But I think there is some options on Bartender also, so you can make it clean. But yeah, iPad is pretty nice also, if you guys are interested. But the Bartender 4 with the key binds is really simple. You just press key binding and you drag your mouse over the button and you, 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 you hover your mouse and hold your cursor over the button and you just press the button you want to bind. And then you have details, which is damage meter, which will have really nice damage meter where you can check everything, like uptime on buffs and everything. So let's say, yeah, let's say you're new to a certain class and you want to make sure you keep up rupture or keep up like serpent sting or something. And you can, you can keep track on it on, on uh, auras here and you can see how much uptime you have. If you have to work on it more or if you actually had like 80% uptime, you know what I mean? It's a really nice uh, damage. Uh, the next one is Diminish. Show you guys a picture right now of Diminish. Add on right here is basically used to uh, to track the stun, uh, the DRs on yourself. So you can see right uh, when the stun DR is coming off, basically. So let's say you're fighting against the Azarog. And after the kidney ends, it's going to count down from 18 as it always is with the DRs basically. But kidney is over, it's gonna count down 18. You can see the icon and when it comes off, a lot of time people are stunning really fast after the DR is off. So you can like be flash craft or it's easier to like preemptively do stuff or even even versus mages, for example, you can see if you're still on poly polymorph uh, DR, if you wanna push in for like an incap or push in for something, you can, you can cross the map while you're still on DR for like five, six seconds or whatever. Really, really nice um, add-on to have. That is called Diminish. And then you have Doom Cooldown Pulse, which is a really nice uh, nice add-on also. It te basically tells you when your cooldowns are back, when they're off, they're off cooldown, when they're ready to use, basically. And uh, this one is super good. You don't, re you don't really notice it, but your brain will pick it up, basically. So... In the back of your head, you will no have a lot better awareness at at when your cooldowns are are back, basically, when ready without even looking down here. So basically, this is how it looks. Let me see. Zoom cooldown pulse. Let's do a test. So here you can see it right there. You see the picture of the cyclone here. So this is basically when your cyclone is back from cooldown. You know what I mean? So you can choose the size on it, fade and time. It's a really simple add-on. Really simple add-on, really, really useful. I like to have it on, on side here. You can also have it in the middle if you want, like center, uh, top, middle, or right side, left side. Next one is E-Align. This one is really good if you are a perfectionist, like myself. You want everything to be centered and clean on the UI. So you just uh, do this uh, slash 
align. And then you will see, you will get this up. And you can center everything a lot easier. So as you can see here, I use lines to center up everything. Get it really. I use this one for all my add-ons. That's the align. And then you have easy frames, which is basically my player frame and my target frame. A lot of people have been asking about this one. I like, you can obviously have percentage or you can have the total number of the HP. You can show whatever. I don't show anything because I think it's more clean. Jump into the add-on. Let me see. Frames, it's right there. Fast colored health bar. You can see it's gonna scale to what class you're playing. Paladin, it's pink, etc. Then you have a lot of options you can do here. Really simple add-on to use. Next add-on is fly plate buffs. Uh, this is probably my most asked add-on. It is basically, I'm showing you guys now a picture of fly plate buffs. It's uh, it's telling you about the debuffs and the buffs of the enemy above their um, above their uh, character basically. So it's super good. And you can also the good thing about this add-on that you can adjust the size of every single individual spell. So if you want Dark Soul, when if you want to see, for example, when a Death Star Warlock pops Dark Soul, you can make it huge. So you make sure that you see when he pops his cooldowns. And you can, yeah, you can you can choose whatever you want. And uh, yeah, and also as you can see here, I made it really big for my explosive shot, for example. So I'm gonna do an explosive shot on the training dummy because I want to make sure that I can tie my aim shot right before the explosive shot goes off. So I made the explosive shot really big. So as you can see here. You can time it. You know I fucked it up there, but you get the point. And the rest is like not nice. I didn't the other ones. And uh, let me see. Let's jump into my plate buffs. So let me see. So how you do it is I have it on show debuffs. It's gonna show my all my debuffs plus spell list. So what does this mean? So mine is obviously all my debuffs that I apply on the target. It's going to show above their character. And then plus spell list. You can do all also. You're going to see everything. It's going to be a little bit too much maybe. If you have on all. Depending on what you class you play and what class they play. It's going to be maybe a lot of buffs. So I only have my spells and spell list. And spell list means this one. Specific spells. If you go over to specific spells. There's going to be a bunch of spells that is already pre-made. But there is also a lot of spells that isn't. So I added a bunch of spells. So for example, when I played my um, priest, or like yeah, yeah, classes with purge in general, I want to make sure that I can see all the hots from uh, the enemy player, so I can so I can spam purge like regrowth and life bloom. So you just need to make sure you add the spells that you want to see above. Uh, uh, in this in this one, you just click, you, you enter the spell ID uh, just as you did with Wowhead for the pummel. Basically, find this spell ID, you type it in, whatever it is, you press OK, it's going to be added there. And then you need to just find it, you scroll down until you find it uh, after you added it, and you can go into it and you can choose the size. So, how can you know how big it is? You can see what the other, all the other ones are basically, and then you can make it. Or smaller. Really nice, but uh, yeah, if you have on all, you're gonna see everything though. But uh, want like if you only want to see stuff that you really want to see, do mine plus a spell list and actually take some time and and add the spells that you really wanna. Next one is Gladius. Let me see if we can bring it up here. Gladius test. So here you can see with the a line also I have it pretty centered here, and. Uh, yeah, Gladius is basically just like a deer tracker. Uh, deer tracker on the enemy. HP. Use either this one or a lot of people are using S Arena also. And then you have Jack's Party Cast. I'm going to show you guys a picture now from Jack's Party Cast. Basically, an add on that uh, shows your party member's cast bar. So let's say you're playing with a Fire Mage, he's casting a Greater Pyroblast. 
and to make it more clean. Let's say you play Holy Pala, you want to hodge. Let's say he sheeps the healer, he casts a greater pyroblast. You want to hodge the healer, you want to min max the, the hammer of justice. You want to stun him, you know what I mean? Like right before the G pie goes off, because then he can combust and like fire blast, fire blast, pure blast, combust, you rotate. So you can you can track your party members cast bar it's really, really and let's jump that on let me see yeah there isn't there isn't too much to do with this add-on actually it's pretty simple pretty simple dax party cast bar really nice i uh, it took me a long time before i uh, before i downloaded this one but it, it annoyed me so much to not be able to see my party members cast bar sometimes because it's so, so hard to min max it and just get a better awareness of what's happening in the game also. Sometimes you're playing with someone and they're behind you. You can't see them on the screen. It's going to be hard for you to see that he's casting a sheep, for example. And it's going to be easier for you to not break it or see what's happening. It increases your awareness. Dex party cast that. And then you have Omnibar. Which is basically a cooldown tracker from the enemy players that you're playing against in Arsenal. Uh, I added a bunch of spells there, so if I play, te play uh, press test now, it's gonna come up all the spells that I I've tracked basically. But show you guys here. So this is what I'm tracking. Obviously, it's not gonna be that many because it's normally play two, so there's only. I I can probably remove a lot of these, but uh, yeah, it's really addicting to just press everything. But I don't think you need everything, but it increases your awareness. So basically you go into Omnibar and you go to um, you go over to spells and you find all the classes and you have to go through every single class. And you start with the Death Knight and you click every spell that you want to track from the Death Knight basically. Already a pre-made list here from uh, most spells. Not every not everything is here, but most are here. But uh, there is something that you want to see that is not here. You can go to custom spells and you can uh, find the spell ID once again. Add the spells that you want to track. It clearly when they're popping. And I not not you can see when they're popping also the cooldown of the spell. Like high plate buffs obviously shows you when they're popping stuff. So this is more of a knowing when their cooldown is back, basically, right? So tracking kicks. If you play healer, you're tracking kicks, obviously. You... Then you have quartz. Basically a uh, cast bar. I'm going to put myself in focus and you can see my cast uh, and I'm going to keep myself in target also. Here I have three different cast bars when I'm mounting up here. This is the focus cast bar, target cast bar, and this is my cast bar down here. So I like this one because you can, you can, it's really big. I, really, I like to have a big cast bar. Really simple add on also. Go over to quartz, open it up, and then you choose the size of everything. So you go here and you press toggle bar lock. You can see all, all the bars and you can adjust them. Okay, the next one is safe queue. It basically just tells you uh, how many seconds you have before the the queue disappears after it uh, pops up. Enter enter a join battle basically, and you have 30 seconds. I'm gonna show you countdown so you can min max it if you're like questing in between two or whatever, or farming mounts or whatever. Then you have a sexy map, which is basically my mini map. Really simple add-on once again. It's just to make the mini map a little bit fresher. All the options here. This one, you know what I mean. A lot of cool options there. Next add-on is sort group. This is uh, only something that I like because uh, sometimes you join arena and sometimes you're like, let's say you're playing trees and sometimes you're not. Let's say you want to always be on top in the group. So if you're using like the the interface, you're using the interface rate profiles, and it annoys you if you're not on top because it like you have binds for for example a scroll mouse. I play twos a lot, so I have freedom scroll up on myself. And freedom scroll down on my party member. I just want to make sure that I'm always on top, so I don't get like brain lag from when freedom my party member. I don't, I mean, scroll up if you up. So I'm always on on top basically with the with the sort group uh, add-on. 
Then you have Trufy GCD, which is just tracking my uh, global cooldowns for like streaming purposes. Here you can see I'm spamming them out now. Oh, box I'm pressing. Craft, I press the L trap. There. Craft, over here. Robots I'm using. I could go quick through how you make a weak aura. So here you can see the weak auras that I have. And here you can see I'm tracking with a glow double tap and uh, LL sting. And this is usually something that I do when I when I start to play a spec or, or a class that I haven't played too much. And I just want to uh, get more awareness of when I have the cooldowns until I get more comfortable on the spec. So I could probably start removing these really soon because I'm, I'm starting to get used to it now. But it just brings more awareness overall. And there's there's so much stuff you can do with Weakar. I can show you guys just super simple how you make uh, a Weakar. You go from template, icon, default. And then if you want to track, for example, when you prop true shot and you want to see how long it's left on the true shot, that's obviously a buff. So you click on buffs, then you find true shot. And then you can basically click only show the aura if the target has the buff. Always shows the aura highlight if it's buffed. So then it will show the icon of true shot at all times and only highlight if it buffed. Or always show the aura gray if buff is not active. I like to have this one. Only show the aura if the target has the buff. So you don't see it ever unless I have true shot active basically. So you press this one and then it will appear here and you can just move around. Choose the size on it. How big do you want it? And uh, yeah, there is some stuff here you can do. I'm not going to go too much into details. I don't even know too much myself about this item. But you can add a glow, for example, down here on display. You can add a glow. Like that. And now I'm just going to make it really big so you guys can see. So now when I press prop true shot, it's going to come up here. And you can see how long it is left on the true shot. Here you can see there. Pretty nice. So that's just super simple how, how to add a, a weak aura. There is so much stuff you can do with the weak aura stuff, but basics, basically. The skin for for the bartender 4 is called Mask Darion. And uh, let's jump into the add-on right there. And so the, you're going to Mask, you click Load Options, Accept, Install Skins, Darion. And... Uh, and here you can see skin settings. See the skin settings here. Darian. Part the four. Darian clean. Vault. Doomed. Really simple. I like this one a lot. The normal Darian. So mask, load options, skin settings. Find the, the, the add-ons that you want to change the skin to. You can use it on a lot of stuff. You can add it to multiple... Uh, I don't. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I hope this helped. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.